very good morning one and all i extend my heartiest welcome to everyone present in this session today we have among us dr vipin kumar gupta principal scientist photonic materials metrology subdivision advanced materials and device metrology division csir national physical laboratory new delhi and he will be delivering two technical sessions today his first talk will be on a uh, conceptual understanding of nanotechnology and current impact of 2d materials and the second post lunch session will be on integration of science and technology for sustainable development and societal impact in energy conversion and security applications we welcome you sir on the behalf of gyan vihar university jaipur and it's an honor to have you here uh, i'm feeling extremely privileged to introduce our today's eminent speaker to the participants of this two week advance online training program on utilization of nano materials and instrumental technique for energy applications so our uh, eminent speaker of today dr vipin started his academic journey from banaras hindu university varanasi from where he completed his bsc msc and finally phd in 2004 he joined national physical laboratory as scientist b in 2007 and currently working as principal scientist in the photonic materials metrology subdivision his current research interest is focused on the development of luminescent materials both bulk and nano luminescent graphene quantum dots and 2d new emerging materials for applications in luminescent security inc security codes opto electronic devices biological fluorescence labeling fluorescence quenching field emission displays and luminomagnetic nanophosphors as nanoprobes for drug delivery and external magnetic tracking applications he has well cited publications in the journals of international repute like nano letters advanced materials advanced material technologies acs applied material interfaces nano scale journal of physical chemistry green chemistry scientific report by nature publication acs sustainable chemistry and so on he is associate editor in frontiers in material thin solid films and also editorial board member in the journal of physics and advanced applications he is proud recipient of several prestigious awards and honors like indo us fellowship award in physical sciences 2010 11 asia pacific academy of material fellow academician 2017 mrsi medal 2018 uh, he is also appointed as a nominated member for the revised specification of a biofluorescent feature in indian passport at isp nasik recognized as top 10 person highly cited author in material portfolio of rsc journal 2019 and his article on lumino magnetic material for anti counterfeiting applications it was published in advanced material technology selected as hot topic in the area of magnetic materials in the year 2020 his research highlights are published in science wire january 2021 vigyan pragati as well as in the science reporter feb 2021 selected in the list of science and technology 2019 and his inventions and discoveries they have been covered by several national and international uh, news channels and print media like hindu news and science wire csr news cover page science reporter csir technology showcase and a research highlight on the bioluminescent security inc and indigenous development of lp cbd setup for single layer graphene have been covered by different national news channels and telecasted on z business news and rajya sabha tv in gyan vigyan with a total number of publication more than 150 and a citation of around 7000 uh, total number of uh, phd students he, uh, who completed his their phd under his guidance there are three and currently uh, he is having three research associate and four phd scholars He is involved with two major projects right now. That is a security in project under the Make in India 
and one is a DBT project on COVID-19 testing kit using the spectroscopic technique. So thank you so much, sir, for sparing your time for us. Now, uh, I hand over the session to you uh, for your talk. Over to you, sir. Okay. Thank you to Kirti and the, uh, Dr. Ankur Jain, because Ankur is my uh, very uh, uh, good friend from last many years. Uh, when I was started my journey from the PSD, when I started my journey from the uh, lightest material, uh, from the predictable hydrogen, and uh, this is the, you can say, the, 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 the Indian scientist, uh, or you can say Indian scenario, where your journey starts from somewhere, but your journey, you know, to middle with the something and end with the, uh, some other, uh, you know, field. So, uh, uh, India style is like that. If you start your, style, your, your, your research in one area, but you will get job in other area and you will discover in third area. So, so this kind of the scenario. So I will just like to view of the slide. First, I would like to focus to about the investors because it's very important to just, I can say my research and like the material or like how you can characterize better to motivate to students. So nowadays I am more focused about the how we can motivate our students better than the just like to just think this is the material I synthesize is that. So few slides I will dedicate for the motivation. And regarding the this institute, uh, I always uh, accept this uh, invitation like not this time, but 2017 I first came and I seen uh, the capability of the this institute. I was very happy to see because so many solar panels on the top of the roof and I seen the how much uh, energy they generated in 2017 itself. And again, I went to 2018, I think, uh, because nearest that time was there. I don't know if he's there or not. So, so like that, two times I, I was there and I was very happy to, particularly, I have faith like that. Particularly yesterday night, I told to Ankur, uh, I believe in the, your mechanical engineering department. So if you want to hydrogen as a success, then you need to be make an injector for the gas injector. Uh, I'm dead sure about that. If you try the gas injector in your institute, definitely it may be some innovation because uh, there is no need, in my opinion, any kind of the stamp required for the any invention. So that is the my my my. I, I want to be ambassador for the a a small place can we do the big innovation. So so that kind of thing I like to put uh, time to place in the heart of your students. So obviously I will discuss about the nanotechnology because it's a very important area. And we are talking about last many years about the. But the, if you ask about the conceptual understanding, people just like to say less than hundred nanometer means nano. But I will say how it is important to realize it. And then I will discuss about why people now thinking about the 2D. Although if you think uh, seriously about 2D materials, then you will realize that if we have the earlier 3D, so after that, why not we done the 2D? Why we are so late? It is not like that Andre Jain or Nebula Soap just like to do this cost step very late, but there is some scientific reason. So why first the 1D came, 2D, 0D came, then 2D came. So you those kind of the story I will be cover very uh, uh, brief way. So I will just try to first to uh, uh, just like to uh, first slide to can you able to why it's not moving? It is no, no, it is it's still on the first slide. Now it's moving. Uh, now now it is moving. Yeah. So before I can start the, my talk, first I'd like to dedicate to uh, Dr. C. V. Raman because uh, he is one of the, uh, the, the fellow who really inspired the most scientific community in India and, and they discovered the Raman effect. And if you see the history of the Raman effect, uh, like 1923, like because uh, Raman, uh, they just like to pass within uh, just past two days ago. So we have to just to recall him before I can start the talk. So if you see 1923, it's like a realistic light scattering predicted by Ismael and then land work started for the, 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 how the frequency is going to shift. And ultimately same time, CV Raman was also working. So what I'm trying to this history to show, that time you can understand, even though no internet, nothing is like this kind of the communication, but mindset of the people, they working on the science on the frontiers. And after the independence, our mindset is going to change and we are trying to work behind the, you know, the world science. So this is a big difference. That's why in the last many years, almost like 100 years, we are not able to do the invention. So if you, we can understand how we can innovate. And second thing is situation is totally different. That time the scenario like that, a small equipment, and I, one day I think like that, 
even there is no you know, such a high power laser and how you can you know observe the raman effect but the dedication is very important if you understand the material if you understand the science if you understand the process definitely you can you can do the wonders and till date if till date you understand the raman effect the advantages even 1997 till date the molecule even the if you see the surface in as raman scattering like in tip enhancement uh, raman also based on the raman effect so no no one can replace like that and it is the story started from the a, the observation of the a fuel fluorescence from the uh, the, the the molecule from the uh, c6s6 like some benzene fluorescence scattering they start the see the, the shifting in the 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 wave number so so these kind of the story students should always to know that because it's a very important and what sivaraman says that is more important they said like that i am the master of my failure and if i never fail how i will learn so if suppose you are getting some experiment you didn't get the result don't bother about that that failure is very important then you have to create a base if you are not failure and just getting the success i can sure about that you can make some device you can make some material you can do some science but you, your understanding cannot be that level the level what you have required to some failure so that's why they, he, he himself is a, is a, is a, a the rigorous is a, is experience he wrote in a in three lines so basically raman effect you can understand if you put a laser light on the molecule if there is elastic scattering then no change in the light means same length wavelength you will going to observe if molecule is going to in elastic scattering it means the energy is going to the the, the dissipate and the, if you see the number of photon is in case of the in elastic scattering less in case of elastic scattering very high so so this is the way you can understand the difference so that's how you can quickly observe the shift so if you see the principle of the raman effect that that can be very useful for the even 2d materials nowadays because we can qualitative analysis to do the probe the number of layers like one layer two layer three layer even 2d so in that kind of the raman spectroscopy if you understand we can able to even this kind of the principle to use for the qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis in both ways you can we this is the one of the uh, equipment that can be more useful and if you compare with the raman with the ir spectroscopy that is more interesting is realistic in expensive in case of the ir because you want to functional group but raman is uh, the more expensive but the region is to raman to use different than the ir like ir cannot use to the equal solution but able to use equal solution in case of the raman so these kind of the fundamental very uh, you know important to use the tool to change in the in the dipole you can understand by the ir spectroscopy because i said the function group if you try to probe then it, that will be ir spectroscopy if change in the polarizability then you can use to raman so so this kind of the understanding is very important to before you can use the equipment so just like to dedicate two slides and now a one slide i like to dedicate my guide because you can say he is the person he started the two ways to i should like to dedicate because he is the man of the hydrogen he is first putting the establishment hydrogen in india and second is he is a man of the nano for the the ambassador so because he first started in there in this like fullerene cnt and their lab so i can say like that uh, he is a person and i got the opportunity to meet him and i can say like he is a, a man composed like a book of learning of infinite chapters means every day when we met him during my phd time we learned something new so i can say he is a person an iron man of science and example of full dedication consistent hard work with passion he is he is a person i seen the passion it's not like that the, he he got the chance for the by chance or get the chance for the some other places he shifted from their lab he is fully dedicated for the his lab and he think like that the the, the, the all the research scholars and the, the group with the family member except the, he even left his home and that is so much dedicatedly he dedicated and he just to left last year uh, because of the covid so 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 you can is a big uh, you can say the loss for the india and big loss for the north because he is the only pillar i can say from the north that have the these kind of the the leadership for the science many people are coming on the the, the platform they are getting the, the posture for the some uh, policy maker or some places but if you see their decisions and people fully affected from the that decision even india even not help to even to grow for the science one of the uh, uh, few decisions i will just discuss so before i can start my talk it's a very more important to understand what is the role of a scientist can scientist is a designation can scientist is a just like the 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 even getting some job some place and you are putting your name 
no in my opinion scientist someone who observe and wonders and listen to the ideas of others and co conduct experiments and ask questions and use tools to solve the problems if there is problem in nation if you are not uh, solving them as a scientist there is your, your role is a scientist as a scientific soldier so any kind of the problem in the country you have to given the solution share their ideas and discoveries if you are not sharing it means there is hiding so it means it's not a kind of a discovery and explore around the world really is a discovery or something just like people already reported so it's very important so then the question comes like that the, how we can define the science technology and innovation if you go in that level then science is just a creation of knowledge when you talk about the technology if you make something that can be used for the that basic of principle of that science you can say the technology and last one is very important it should be uh, keep in mind like innovation innovation basically not like the very casual term because people saying we are doing the some innovation if you see the invention and innovation difference in all over the more than 800 university in india every day we are listening some news this discovery happened this lab that lab but they are not really innovation that is like invention means they discovered something but there is no commercial use if there is no commercial use we cannot contribute for the any kind of the support even the government mission like make in india or made in india so if you want to really want to innovation to justify then invention plus your the that invention should be commercially exploited it means that should be to go to market but how it can possible when we are talking about the the who can innovate then uh, the the indian culture our mindset is different when we talk about only the isc and tfar and if you see this scenario then you can understand a small place can discover a big thing and this is the learning pyramid and you can see here if this learning pyramid based on the uh, a place is bethel in usa and they trying to survey average students and trying to how they can be do the innovation so they what they done first they given the lecture then the gain was for the student is like 0% when they start to them to ask to read, read this uh, this uh, in, in this kind of the proposal project or innovation then they get the 10% when they done the audio visual then 20% when they the demonstration then 30% when they done the discussion with the students then 50% and they start to doing practicing then 75% and ultimately when they start the teaching to others then they get the 90% so that's why uh, if you if you see the common scenario even see the best example our teachers right if you see the, our teachers they are the base of the pyramid so that's why they are the level of the 90% so that's why they they easy to not only the contribute to student to knowledge but also they can innovate and student can also go to this kind of the pyramid definitely a, a, any kind of the student if they have the motivation and dedication and consistency they can able to innovate but why india fears most of the time like best example i can given the example example is like that you can try to understand we are talking about the making india and made in india right so how many with us and we, they can raise the hand we can say like why not making india and made in india education when the people from the then the, all the education and from the india and they can the first preference in my opinion in my thought the fact that if you are not believing in our science how we can develop any technology there is no required any kind of the mit harvard kind of the stamp if all degree from the india they should be first preference and that i am the ambassador for that i would like to join second hand to all the university all the institutes these kind of the motivations because if you if you if you just to learn many years ago like takshila even people came from the other places right to read why not we can make our own takshila here instead of we are saying make the indian institute to harvard or oxford there is no need to we have to harvard or oxford because our environment is totally different the environment from the other people so that's why what's happened last 70 or 80 years i seen no novel prize no technology no innovations uh, the what is reason behind that if you see this death valley basically what's happened if you want to do some research and convert it into product where are the lacking if you see the lacking is two two ways one way is a lot of suits open in the last many years ago and there is no infrastructure like the update so we have need to regenerate the our capability in terms of the 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 redefine the slavers redefine the infrastructure redefine the update of the access if you are not like that then obviously only one or two places they will claim like they are doing the basic science but ultimately you can whatever we debate you can do ultimately never you get feel and touch for a making india made in india program uh, like the device you can just say like this is the device but if you go in depth then you will be surprised most of thing is just like to 
level of the mac in india but nothing gets inside so if you want to insight then we have required this kind of the survey what i shown here like the usa they done the survey they they if they, they done the research then the government make a capital breach between the industry and the the lab and ultimately that r and d is going to convert into product otherwise you can do the nature or science or whatever we all are in the death valley there is no use if you are no capital investment but it is equally important if a author or a person they have like this some work like nature or science they should try also think about the not only the personal gain uh, for the, the any kind of recognition they can convert into goal so convert into goal is a very tough because most of time we are seeing the saturations so those saturation is we have to break in the out of the box thinking and we are try to do something like that if you have the systematic industrial base for the research and you convert it into goal and government come to you that it's easy to convert to make in india or made in india devices from the research to product so these things i just to say friend because it's a younger sir very important to understand how kind of the struggle you have to face if you want to do something like i started my journey and you said like rightly uh, uh, like i started from the hydrogen storage and you can see here so many uh, good scientists came in the lab and are highly motivated to do something in the science once i just finished my phd ultimately uh, even i first to person who drive the hydrogen based motorcycle in bhu and ultimately when i got the job then i got the job in fluorescence so this is a this is a kind of the you know but but sometimes this kind of the challenge is very important if you get the challenge you convert it into goal if you are not accept the challenge definitely you will be a, a small pond kind of the situation and you will be just like a frog in the pond but you are trying to explore yourself any area just like a challenge but you should be systematic if you are systematic definitely the goal will be very clear and second thing for the particular students friends you try to do the dream out of the box thinking and dream is very important if you dream like i when i was a student that time professor joshi came in our lab and i thought like that why not i can make a lab sometime later and he can also come in my lab and you can see that kind of dream i able to create after 15 years and 2018 he inaugurated my lab and ultimately he came to see the sample similarly like when i was the student if you see here i shown him so so those kind of things are friend very 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 important so i will discuss today two kind of the work uh, in the second session like the graphene single layer graphene and in the first session because of the i talked about the 2d material and the second session about the the security ink which is required for the currency purpose which is we imported from the abroad so i i will not go through these slides i will just to quick like now the nano so now first uh, this is the video i will show for the my lab how a single layer graphene lab is looking like and uh, you can just to go uh, for the moment and then i will discuss about the nano materials Hello and welcome to Science Monitor, a show that brings to you the most significant news from the world of science, technology, innovation, research, discoveries, and much more. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor, and here are this week's headlines. Single layer graphene material synthesized using indigenously developed technology by scientists at CSIR's National Physical Laboratory, in New Delhi. open discussion organized with the so i will just to discuss more detail I, if you want to see this uh, this uh, uh, the video science monitor already uploaded so if anyone can go there and detail you can see and uh, uh, the glimpse of the lab you can uh, uh, otherwise the physically also they can come in the lab and uh, obviously they can be the most welcome in our lab uh just a moment because the movie is going to little stuck so so i will just to uh reshare again because somehow there is some technical issue so i will just do a moment
uh, just give a moment for the resharing. Just a moment. So can you able to now again uh, visualize my slide? Yes, we will. Okay. Be, yeah, so we can now see. we can define without the, uh, the losing the time. So what is the nanotechnology? If you're trying to define the nanotechnology, the history came from the Sir Richard Feynman. So he was in the some some physical society meeting and in 1960, and he thinking a, a out of the box thinking like there is a plenty of room at the bottom of, of the pin. So they said like that a small thing can be utilized as an effective large surface area. And how we realize, I will just to discuss in few of the slides. So basically you can say the nanotechnology is a diverse topic and can be loosely defined as the ability to work at the atom molecule or superatomic level to create materials and device superior to their microscopic assembly analogs. What is the mean of that? You know that if you trying to compare with the bulk and the, the, the nano materials, definitely some properties would be different and how you can realize you can understand a layman if you talk about the nano you just do a block take and try to cut it and cut it cut it cut it up to a small piece when its properties able to realize you they're going to change and how you will realize these are the four these are the four the parameters where you will realize how the bulk converted into nano so this hardly even if you see in the book they directly written like that the four pillars but you can understand these four pillars and you definitely realize like you talk about the nano, it means gravitational force becomes negligible because of the surface atoms is higher than the, the if any kind of the volume. So and electromagnetic forces dominate. If you talk about the quantum mechanics, is the model used for the describe the bulk? Uh, yeah, sorry, nano. But you talk about the bulk, you can describe the classical mechanics. It means you cannot uh, explain the things by classical mechanics in the nano. If you talk about the great surface area to volume ratio. In case of you realize in the nano, but you will not realize in the bulk. I will uh, one by one each of the, the pillars I will describe very carefully and trying to set a, uh, a set a platform how you can realize yourself. Similarly, like the four point, the random molecular motion becomes more important in case of the nano. So you can try to understand. Suppose a, you have the, the, the human skin and trying to resolve just to magnify it, magnify it, magnify it. Ultimately, you can go up to one nanometer, and you can see from the skin to molecular, even atomic assembly. But what kind of things you are going to change, you will realize in case of the size dependency. If suppose something is nano, it means chemical property, reactivity, catalyst activity is going to change. Thermal property like melting temperature can be changed. Mechanical property like addition or capillary forces can be changed. Optical property like absorption and scattering of light can be observed different from the bulk. And if you talk about the quantum, then tunneling current will be realized instead of the, 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 the classical model you, you describe for the, the normal cases. And in the magnetic properties, if you are seen in the bulk like ferromagnetic, it may be converted to super parametric. So how to understand how we can put a platform in our cell and try to understand the, what is in nano. So if you try, try to make a postulate for the single cell, it means single cell means all the atom on the surface not on the below. So if you atom on the surface, it means total number of atom, if you take a small unit cell of the hexagon, then 13 atoms required. And surface atom, if you percentage calculate, it's like almost 92%. In case of the two cell, then surface total number of atom is going to increase, but volume is going to enhance. It means surface atom is going to reduce. If you're trying to three cell, then 147 total number of atoms. But if you're trying to surface atom to C, then surface atoms going to reduce. So if you're going to bulk, the surface atom is going to reduce and volume is going to appear. So, so how they affect the, the 
the reactivity or any kind of the property. Like you can see here, if, if you see that this iron uh, nanocrystal, in case of the, if reduce the size, if you reduce the size, then you can understand here, if you reduce the size, then the, the percentage of what I told here, if total number of atom is less, then surface atom is percentage is high. If bulk is seven cell, then total number of atom is low. Similarly, you can see here, in case of the bulk, just reverse it. So you can realize it, even the, this publication from the Journal of Physical Chemistry 1996, how we can realize it if you use the bulk surface atoms or the nano surface atom. Another, like if you cut a cube and trying to cut it like the 24 times, and if you, if you consider the, the, eight, uh, the cube's uh, dimension is like, uh, like suppose length of the side is 2L, and you're trying to suppose, for example, you can take the five cent, uh, cube centimeter and about to one side is like about 1.7, right? 1.7 into 1.7 into 1.7. So material divided into if 24 times, you can produce a one nanometer cube. So if you put on the football, that field, 160 yard can be covered by this. So how you can realize, means all the things will be on the surface, not on the volume. So best example, everybody make the nano materials in their childhood, but they won't realize what they had done. In Diwali, they can say like the snack or like sap in Hindi. So that snack is basically not Asvari carbon. Asvari carbon is a graphitic layers between the some acid. If you put some heat, then it is going to expand it. That means the volume is expanded into surface. So if the volume expanded into surface, these carbon suits are nothing but it's like nanomaterials. And if, if, you, if you tune it with the temperature, it will tune the color even also. Another example I can give you like the scattering of the light, you can realize from here. If you change the silver nanoparticle and change the size, you can see this picture carefully. If the particle size is bigger, then the scattering is high. If particle size is lower, then the scattering is low. That's why if you see the image carefully, the, the, the lower particle size has the sharp edge, but the higher particle size is blur because of the more scattering. So best idea to understand by this Victor Kilmov model, you can try to understand how the difference in the bulk and the nano. In the case of the bulk, if you see the valence band and the conduction band, it look like a continuous band. In case of the nano, we are talking about the discrete energy levels. What it means that if you reduce the particle size, ultimately what's happened, it come to its the confinement regime. What the mean of the confinement? It means you come to a situation where the energy is sharply changed with the ionic bore, uh, uh, bore radius. So if in that regime, then sharp change in the energy, basically the very high Columbian repulsion in the conduction and balance band and ultimately the surface charge will be going to, because of the energy level is very high, it's split into like S, P, D, F kind of the situation. So if you see the transitions in the case of the nanocrystals or like quantum darts, the, all the sub levels also contributes like 1S, 1P, 1D, 2. So it, if you see the bulk comparison and how we can define it to realize it, if you do the, suppose UV with absorption spectrum, what will be happen in the case of the bulk? You will get a single spectrum of the absorption. When you're trying to see the nanocrystals, if there is a confinement, it, what is the mean of that? The electron free to move it in the, the, the box. It means if you do the slow scan of the UV with, then you will see the several clinks. That clinks are nothing but, but they're the discrete energy levels. So this is the realization by the experimentally and theoretically how we'll convince that. So you can see the quantum dot EG like EG naught as plus H cut pi square upon two MEH and R square means electron hole decomposition basically if you talk about the any quantum dot semiconductors. So if R is very less, then denominator will be in the, uh, the, the value of the R is in the denominator. So that term is very, very high. So if case of the very small size, it will be effective and very weak size, it can be negligible. So that's why the bulk band gap is always less than band gap of the nanocrystals or confinement region. So you can understand why I told like that the why 2D is late, you can understand by this slide. Like if you see the 0D, 1D, 2D, 3D, what is difference? The difference in the 0D confinement in all direction. That's why we are saying the quantum well kind of the situation like the state lines, right? When you talk about the 1D, it means confinement in two direction. So that's why one direction is like the well, but other is like the parabolic. So half of the parabolic and half of the well. If you talk about the 2D confinement in one direction, so if you confine in one direction, then kind of situation is like a state. 
and if you talk about the 3d the concept is like the parabolic so if you understand these things very carefully then even you can understand the beyond this even these are not the end i i am surely about that the i i can i can predict that something will be coming beyond that and what will be that i will discuss later on but i can tell you friend the story why 2d is going to so much late the reason behind that if you if you think carefully 1991 ijima and the ajain and if sun they discover the carbon nanotube and we explore a lot carbon nanotube up to the 2000 and we are trying to use in some device and many of the application we are trying to project but because of the pin shape or probe shape kind of the carbon nanotube and second is the the the, the dangling bonds in the curvature nature because of the cylindrical tube and third is the very difficult to uh, the the uh, difficult to manage in any device so ultimately people thinking like if anything is like confinement in uh, two direction this kind of the scenario why cannot it confined in three direction then they are thinking like that why not we can do the three dimension confinement and ultimately they discover the quantum dots and ultimately because of the stability issue till date the because of the human greedy nature they think about the the 2d it is not right that 1991 nobody is thinking about the 2d that 1991 even before that people thinking about the 2d in 1937 and uh, and they trying to say like landau and the coworkers they said it is not possible to make the 2d crystals because they 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 don't concept of the confinement in third direction like one direction confinement can possible because they think like any crystal then the repetition of the x y z should be like the we we seen the in the crystal in the normal cases and then proposed by 1962 there some other uh, uh, scientists and they trying to theoretically try to calculate uh, on the graphite and they said i calculated the, this for the a uh, single layer graphite because that time nobody knows about the graphene as a terminology the boom is uh, given the terminology like graphene in 1972 many people they dedicated day and night for the carbon but ultimately the person they getting the nobel prize they just work for the 6 year it will be surprised when i try saying like this that's why i am saying out of the thinking is very out of the box thinking is very very important and those people they are working on the geckos in indian uh, you can say the shipkili they trying to understand how this they typically uh, stick with the wall like echoes stick with the wall and they trying to make some polymer kind of the mimetic and trying to stick it with the wall and uh, with the uh, glass and ultimately they are able to success then they understand that there is something in nature definitely they can exist they start from the muscovite biotite and many things and ultimately the guy they are not in carbon field they are getting the discovery in the carbon by this cost step method because they think simplest way to you can just to for this cost step and easy to take out the layer and they done the all kind of the characterization and one of the guy case now also just in his phd work he getting the nobel prize so out of box thinking is very very important so there is so many use of the uh, material like the io2 using and zinc oxide uh, players using their mass for the protection from the uv so even the hulk the movie they trying to uh, how the nano can be converted to bulk and bulk from the nano like one of the best example you can see in the our ramayana the the hanuman ji is uh, making the bulk form when the in the in the made to ravan so so those kind of the or the nano form then when the the in the in the mouth of the sosa dying so these kind of the myth but those myth are if you trying to understand the, the discovery it somehow the myth and discovery has some parallel alignment so there is two way to make the the nano materials like bottom up nanotechnology top down nanotechnology so basically two ways to you can make the nano like either you can start from the bulk and try to the machining effect and convert into nano another way to you can start from the nucleation like bottom up approach and make the nano so if, then question comes where i should make for the top down where i should go for the bottom up you can see the comparison if you begin with the pattern generated on a larger scale then reduce to nano like you are doing the fib or like quantum devices but in case of like some material produce for the commercial use then you have to start with bottom up because bottom up is fabrication is much less expensive but the, if you want to top down approach then you have to do the fib or like those kind of be very expensive equipment so according to the use you can decide with the top down and bottom up so like uh, we use here the fib and uh, write the csi and pl and many flowers you can see by using electron beam so there is two method you can realize the the nano and the bulk 
like physical method if you start from the solid convert it to solid like laser ablation car car carbon arc method or vapor trapping but in case of the suppose the chemical methods like the sono chemistry microwave synthesis micro emulsion micro encapsulation sol gel method and bit chemical method or coprecipitation so there is depends upon what kind of the temperature pressure and the the reaction required according to you can choose the specific route for the chemical synthesis and if required something like we started like say support like uh, mo2 we start the mo is a powder and again convert into solid so solid to solid is physical method basically so there is a specific method and a specific way to synthesize the materials i listed here but there no point to one by one to read so similarly like liquid phase similarly like gas phase already i told and if you see like some nano structure then you have to technique like spontaneous growth or evaporation condensation or dissolution or like vapor liquid phase like wheeless technique or like oxide assisted growth so but you have to understanding what you have you want to grow so that is more important than the you just follow the technique but why 2d then question comes why 2d so now the answer is why 2d already i told you what if you see the scenario people will discover 1d 0d 3d ultimately they think like that because of the greedy nature like we already done like dimension in two direction dimension in uh, 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 the the in confinement in two direction confinement in three direction ultimately what will be happen in confinement in one direction and they understand that confinement in one direction can even make the miracle and that's why this story started so if you see this slide this is the 2d library and very surprised to see the materials there are several kind of the material like metal semiconductor uh chalcogenides insulator even superconductor like bss0 so all kind of the assembly is similar like what we are using in the 3d but why people are no most uh, trying to focus on the mos2 ws2 mos2 ws2 because of the stable under ambient condition if you see the other like unstable in air or probably probably stable in air means there is no guarantee for the stability so that's why the most stable structure is like mos2 ws2 mos2 and ws2 in case of the semiconductor in case of the 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 in the in the metal like the graphene people are using but it can be protect for the boron nitride but if you putting the air directly in the single layer graphene it will airborne contamination can possible so there is a list to understand these kind of the theory how people thinking like the thick film thin film and ultimately atomic thin layer so if you see here how people going the the understanding from the 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 plate or sheet and then thick film foil thin film and atom molecules and why it is going that kind of a direction you can understand with this slide if you talk about the one example like electron flow in case of the thick film the highly noisy devices occurred if you see nowadays the noise of the devices is uh, like like signal by uh, the noise ratio is very less in the devices fact that electron flow is going to more stable and uh, in is in case of the more disturbance in case of the thick or uh, like plates so that's why and this is the history what i talk about that 1937 the landau suggest that strictly could not to the crystal possible and 1947 wallace calculated the band structure and single layer graphite and 1962 so hp bohm coined the term graphene then theoretically 1980s study graphene confirm massless dirac equation and anomalous quantum hall effect so ultimately 2004 the a breakthrough by this cost step method and the jaime novels of the getting the novel prize and uh, after the discovery and now there is many more materials like maxine or like silicon so phosphorine so so borophene so many new materials are coming because the the mother if you ask then the graphene but now people thinking like that and why people thinking like most of the d block element you can understand because the stability issue because d block elements are most stable d block has the more fermi level shifting easy to possible because of the outermost electron is going to affect if you trying telling any kind of things so ultimately that's why this kind of series is even i am saying the incomplete because many things will be coming more so ultimately uh, i told about the if you suppose you you try to understand like the the group 4 uh, 4 5 6 7 and 10 elements and trying to see the fermi level shift so th this kind of the 2d material like chalcogenides they shift in the 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 conduction band size it means these material can be the best what will be happen this material can be best the acceptor if anything is best acceptor then it will make the best assemblage for the device purpose so 
so there is a there is a 1825 materials that can be possible in future this kind of the the 2d material can be exist so why the people are behind that if you see the global market the incoming even the, the prediction from the company they said like that the 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 the, the market value of the this kind of the 2d material because the property of the 2d material like the mos2 wc2 and if you trying to think about the compare with the silicon it will some time will come it going to replace with the this kind of the 2d material so that's why our government also sensitized and prime minister making the initiative i am also a member for that so they projected the 2d material for the coming 5 years and they trying to realize the 2d technology and ultimately they make a big team from the different institutes and ultimately uh, government understand the quantum devices is a next future so if we are not sensitized they understand we are again lagging for the technology so ultimately the the journey started and we want to shake the hand from the many places not only these institutes we are the part of that but anyone the, the idea to technology uh, uh, we can be ambassador for them and they can be demonstrate and ultimately can be participate so that center will be on the isc bangalore uh, uh, supposed to uh, establish so ultimately if you see here there is a different properties of the this kind of the 2d material and because of the emission in the visible region they are more projected compared to anything else so now i will discuss about the story about the andre jain and the namalu so so you can see here they start this story they working on the geckos and trying to make the polymer artificially like the how geckos stick with the wall and ultimately they able to make a layer of the polymer and putting on the spider man and purposely they are using the glass because uh, less uh, you know miss more reflective surface and easy to more smooth surface so they trying to Uh, same interface to make with the spider man and putting the hand of the spider man of this kind of the polymer and you can see 160 gram of the spider man going to hang and how they understand this kind of the thinking they trying to resolve the the uh, footprints of the geckos and trying to understand how much force produce the individual fiber of the geckos and they realize that can power minus 7 newton by single uh, the the geckos fiber and ultimately total force they can create like millions of the this kind of the hairs that's what 10 newton per centimeter square so that's why if you say here what i am trying to say the hairs plus wonderwall force making the spider man ability what we demonstrated here and ultimately they also calculate the intra uh, atomic force between the wall and the the the, the layer and they trying to discover many materials they trying like muscovite biotite ultimately they discover the graphene so this is the story how graphene is going to discover now quickly i will go to few of the slide related to uh, why uh, related to uh, uh, just like one more uh, example because it's a very quickly to go like why graphene is say the conic uh, behavior like why we are saying the dirac points not we are saying like the, the, the schrodinger kind of things can be explained by the because in the case of the graphene if you see the the structure it's like hexagonal and if you see the brinma zone so if the first uh, uh, never atom of the the another six uh, hexagonal lattice so ultimately is a conic kind of the tip uh, because of zero band gap it cannot be explained like the the, the simple like the schrodinger equation but it explained with the the dirac point so that's why it's the the linear dispersion is linear as compared to the in case of the if you see the the, the band gap momentum the the shape of the 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 bulk it's like the parabolic but in case of the graphene it's like a, the linear dispersion relation for the graphene system so this already i discuss here about the how the brinma zone and how the dirac point kk ds is looking like that and this is again the 2d you can make like the two ways like top down and the bottom approach like mechanical expolition chemical expolition chemical synthesis pyrolysis epitaxial growth cbd and other methods so there is a characterization like you can characterize it to like top down or bottom up so if you see there is a many other methods also to make the 2d so ultimately how we can understand suppose if graphene is a graphene and single layer bi layer or tri layer because understanding is very important for any material if you understand then only able to work if you are not understand very difficult to do the anything in the in the precise manner so like mono layer if you see and if you see the g band and the g dash then you can see a, a fwhma is a single lagrangian fit and there is no deconvolution possible but in case of the bi layer you can see the fwhma is little broader and it can be converted by the fourth peaks and what the mean of that if you do the spectroscopy of these materials like in case of the the single layer only the one once is going to excite the system 
then electron go to valence band to conduction band and hole created of the uh, the the valence band and the conduction band electron reached and ultimately recombination the band the phonon is going to create because of zero band gap so ultimately if you see the two layer then the the the, the spectroscopic transition is four types like electron 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 hole hole electron and hole hole so ultimately that's why decoluted by the four kind and it depend upon the what kind of the material you want to wear application so you need to electronic grade or like the composite or like what kind of the application you targeted you can synthesize the graphene like i i, I decided here according to the 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 application even if you if you make this even you can make the like chemical exfoliation friends to try to very be serious about the preparation like if you see the chemical exfoliation then you can see in case of the graphite uh, it's like very sharp 002 plane and you trying to exfoliate it then the pain is going to the broaden because of the few number of layers the d spacing going to enhance that's why uh, and the number of layers is very less in case of the the rgo like reduced graphene so that's why it's hm is the broader but in case of the 002 in case of the graphite because number of plane repetition is very high it's very sharp so so if you if you compare with the graphite geo and reduced graphene clear if you distinct then only you can understand this is you can say the graphene oxide or graphite oxide you can say and reduced graphene but if you talk about the electronic grade like mobility very very less in case of the chemical exfoliation as compared to the mechanical exfoliation or cvd so that's why my aim or focus of the chemical initiative of chemical exfoliation mechanical exfoliation or cvd but i am trying to put the base because many of the students here if they can realize in their experiment they should be understand how they can realize the even chemical exfoliation technique by the their, uh, the preparations like uv vis or like if you if you know the c by o ratio they can understand the, the reduced graphene or uh, graphene oxide so now i can quickly go to if you if you see the market if you value the graphene exfoliated graphene is very high cost because it's a pure if you talk about the graphene oxide the cost is like that per ml uh, and if you talk uh, 250 ml uh, uh, The three thousand four hundred thirty-nine rupees. We talk about the CVD nine thousand three hundred ninety-eight uh, one inch by one inch. So, so these things are very important to to make the any kind of the system for the and there is several technique to you validate the like TM, SCM, LIM, AES, AFM, STM, and many more techniques I listed here. And now very quickly I will do uh, because these are the protocols how worldwide they, there is a document to uh, understand the graphene. So I will not go to the the standards. but i will say like that why i started the graphene and what is the need of that graphene because if you see the nmi npg nmi laboratory and my director asked to me why not we can contribute the single layer graphene for the quantum hard uh, resistant devices because quantum hard resistant device is very important in terms of if you want to realize the, uh, the 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 mass in the nano or femtogram because nowadays drug is required to be precise to use because many drugs are using huge amount in many medicines but there is no certain uh, method to <coughs> precisely uh, measure the mass so that's why the, uh, the 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 pure the pure uh, if you know the, the the quantum resistance and voltage and the current then you can able to measure the mass precisely so so if you see here because how we can precisely measure the mass because if you if you if you see the new kevel valence so based on the electromagnetic force so if if you, if you if you the, if you change in current if you precisely measure then you can precisely measure the 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 mass because of the induction through the electromagnetic force and that how current will be accurately measured if you correctly measure the resistance and the voltage so this is the reason and uh, there is a certain uh, other reasons like the the graphene has advantage over the gallium arsenide like it's a uh, higher uh, temperature even uh, we can realize the quantum hall resistance and if you see the the uncertainty much better as, as compared to the gallium arsenide so so that's why our director asked me at that time only i have this kind of the furnace nothing else then i asked to 20 lakhs in one room and ultimately what i got the 6 lakh and without any room uh, what of the existing we have the lab same lab we are trying to uh, they given us and three months time so may, we make the single layer graphene because our earlier experience in the the carbon nano fiber to synthesize at bhu so i have the good start from the cvd and ultimately i set up here the single layer graphene system even less than 5 lakhs and we return back to less money to our director and we shown the single layer then they said like that the single layer graphene is not enough the what you made the setup 
and uh, you also saw the quantum hard resistance the, the journey will be over so what is the i done in the single layer graphing in this kind of setup we changes the uh, mass flow meter expensive mass flow meter by the rotameter except the hydrogen because i know earlier the, with the hydrogen only it is required for the light gases so that's why the cost is effectively very less and very simple method to synthesize to set this kind of setup and you can see the quality of the graphing and if you compare with the uh, this kind of the quality by the worldwide any publications and we done this sequentially many run before the uh, we just to announce that the single layer graphing can possible by our uh, setup and ultimately we shown by the tm hr tm and the electrical behavior on all respect uh, we shown like the single layer graphing is there and ultimately the grain size and we are able to show them the single layer high quality graphing mean and how can validate then we had started the mechanical exposition because if you doing the cvd system it may artificially synthesize so you have to compare with the pure system so we done the scott step method to compare and understand the quality of the single layer bi layer tri layer multi layer and ultimately validated with that and we confirm that the single layer graphing is going to be synthesized here then we went to tfr mumbai and make the device ultimately we realize the quantum devices and ultimately we shown the result for the quantum hall effect and uh, ultimately we fulfill the our one of the but this is the journey they knocking the door for the other materials that's why i started the other materials like the twisted bilayer graphene recently i synthesized and uh, if, if you see here the beauty the twisted bilayer graphene has the beauty like if you change the temperature you can change the twist angle like coupling the coupling at the different temperature and ultimately why this kind of the material required if you see here so because the viswanatha projected in 2019 if you can make a material that the more super lattice kind of the the situation then if, if the magic angle is 1.1 degree then you can able to make a material that can be room temperature superconductor and there is other property you can be easy to understand like one half singularity g band resonance chemical reactivity so i also realize same and you can understand that because of that purpose we synthesize this material and once if this paper is going to publish then people realizes that this kind of the tunable superconductivity also possible because of this impact coupling decoupling with respect to temperature it means high temperature lower decoupling and higher a lower temperature higher coupling it means if you see the angle angle lower angle at the high temperature and higher angle at the lower temperature so ultimately i when our paper is just coming parallelly within a month i seen the other paper and this one the trial layer can be configured for the superconductivity and they uh, mit group they 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 Using same concept, we will change the temperature. We will see the superconductivity tunability. And similarly, we started not only the start the journey for this setup for the other two D materials like MOS two, WC two, and MOS C two. That is also important. So we taken a furnace from the junkyard and trying to paint it and try to calibrate zone because NPL has a beauty to their NMI. So we have the temperature standard. We can calibrate the zone and we started the synthesis. And you can see the two D materials like MOS two. The same. quality what people uh, publishing in nature or kind of the uh, material and we trying to characterize it then again the validation started so same validation we started from the amos to for first mechanical exposition we can realize one one layer two layer three layer four layer and 10 layer of bulk and then we trying to same validate over the uh, amos to what we are uh, projected the cvd setup so we again we are getting the high quality mono layer amos to you can see the raman uh, even Yeah, G and A1G, uh, even 2G and A1G in plane, out of plane mapping, as well as the two kind of the uh, the the nano shapes like the triangle and the star. And if you see the interesting part, these kind of the 2D materials are another interest like valetonics, because if you see the like the twist angle, then we can talk about the twist tonics. But if you talk about the this kind of the layer, another a a, a science is coming like valetonics, like the quasi particle presence. and the conduction band so that kind of the the beauty uh, the the 2d materials that's why and why these shapes are going to occur it's very important so how we can decide then what kind of shape is going to occur so it depends upon the ratio of the mo mean sulfur and the molybdenum if the ratio changes the nucleation able to change because if you see uh, we started for the mo3 and how the coordinate the uh, replace this uh, oxygen by the sulfur and what mass you are taking depends upon the what kind of the nucleation start so if you see here so many kinds of the shape can possible and depends upon the high mass flux you are using or low mass flux you are using you are using the lp cvd or ap cvd so there is n number of technique to 
control this kind of the material and this n number of promoter you can use or catalyst to grow this kind of the material so ultimately we synthesize this kind of the material and we characterize it thoroughly and you can say all kind of the shape we synthesize here and trying to by the fm we seen this thickness and thickness is around 0.7 in the monolayer which is ideally 0.65 nanometer so ultimately we realize that we synthesize monolayer similarly we done the wsc2 similarly uh, we also done the moc2 so interesting part of the moc2 and we also make the heterostructure like how we can think like the ultra thin diode so we make the like wsc2 and rsc2 like one n type another p type like one the topological insulator another like semiconductor and trying to make the hetero and do the mapping you can understand the one nucleation is from the ones another nucleation of the other so like core cell kind of the nucleation possible by the this kind of the heterostructure and ultimately i will discuss the last in this slide in this presentation how we realize the quasi particles so so if you see here why we chosen the moc2 because if you see here because of three reasons i trying to understand the moc2 like moc2 is a one of the most desirable to the layers having the high optical absorbance which is used in the energy storage photovoltaic single junction solar cell photo electrochemical solar cell and many things so it is a semiconductor material in direct band gap 1.55 but why i trying to quasi to understand because if you see the literature there is a huge the tailoring in the band gap and very hard to understand uh, what is the monolayer exact the value so why this kind of the, the 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 variation because of the fact that the presence of the quasi particles so if you if you see the more interesting part the two dimensional semiconductor exhibits remarkable mechanical optical electronic properties and additionally additionally very degree of freedom means there is a there is a interaction of the photon and the phonon interaction photon due to the direct band gap and phonon due to the presence of the quasi particles so this is a new trend of the now the, the science people trying to well electronic devices so that's why the, these things are very important and before we can talk to these kind of the devices we have to understand direct excitonic transitions like the kk uh, points uh, of the brinma zone and how that the opto or electronics can be realized you can understand by the the the, the quasi particle zoo quasi particle zoo there is consist of the exciton prion pi exciton and phonon without understanding you cannot find develop anything if you have the basic understanding proper then can you can explore anything so so basically exciton nothing but is a coulomb bond electron hole pair complex is a bosonic kind of the nature so it's a quasi particle called as exciton when you talk about the and if you if you want to Uh, write the energy of the exciton and you can write the basis of the like electron and hole pair uh, recombination so that's why the hamiltonian is like what i listed here and if you talk about the interaction already i take the i talk, talk about the interaction like electron hole recombination and if you want to realization with the a exciton or b exciton then you done the uv uv this and convert into energy so even you can understand the the, the presence of the excitonic like a or b so similarly tyons is a more complex bond structure including either extra <coughs> or hole are called tyons like extra electron or hole like exciton plus extra hole or extra electron so if you put the hamiltonian you can put like this if you talk about the bi exciton it means like that friends two exciton being the bosonic particles so hamiltonian you can write like this if you talk about the phonon is a phonon is a quasi particle characterized by the energy so these kind of terminology when you understand then you think like that what is the need of that and why he is talking about these things now you can understand one of the work from the my phd student recently finishes his phd girja sangar pani and he address the issue like how the 1.48 to 1.57 electron volt is going to tell in the single monolayer uh, moc2 so they characterized by the two methods like mechanical expolition of the moc2 and the cvd like what i discussed earlier so if you first do the mechanical expolition then you can first to realize the validation process like how will we recognize the single layer so you done the mechanical expolition and trying to do the one layer two layer three layer and trying to do the microscopy optical microscopy just given you friend like the contrast understanding like the layer is going to change with the thickness when you are doing the 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 like bulk and you trying to do the the before you can start the mechanical expolition you need to do the bulk characterization to understand the purity of the crystal then you trying to mechanical expolition and trying to understand one layer two layer Three layer, four layer, five layer, six layer. So if you quantify with the Raman, then you can understand that how it can be realized. Like if you see the MOS two, there is a, if you see the number of layers, if the delta k the wave vector is going to increase. But in case of the MOS two, 
is going to decrease because the selenium has the higher ionic radii as compared to the sulfur. So that's why if you see here, it's 44.52 is going to decrease in case of the in case of the, the MOC2. But in case of the MOC2, the situation was different. But you have to know the understanding the, how the, the single layer can be characterized. Then we had any PL mapping. So PL mapping, you can realize that like the band gap is going to one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer. There is a red shift. If the number of layers going to enhance, it is going to move in the red shift. So ultimately, confinement, the again, it's like Lagrangian shift. But if you talk about the two layer, three layer, then again, it's a complex to the, like many deconvolution peaks are there. And the right side, if you see the near the 900, is due to the silicon substrate, the artifact. So, so if, you, if you understand the how we built up this kind of setup, these four guys are important for the make the, the, the setup for the 2D materials for the MOS2, WC2, and uh, MOS2, because there is a 10 channel kind of the CVD setup we have. So according to, we have required this synthesis, we are just using the three channels and we can synthesize the material. So you can see the synthesis protocol here. We using the eight parameters to trying to different shapes and trying to understand the monolayer, how behaving different, the direct band gap. So ultimately we characterize it as CM, optical and the, the XPS, if you see the atomic ratio, almost like one to two, so what is the empirical formula? So ultimately after all the validations, we are trying to prove all the processing parameter different and how the shape, the PL is going to behave. When we are trying to AX right on VX right on difference, trying to calculate, very surprised to in all cases it is different. Then we had done the, the, the two step ultra fast spectroscopy technique. So trying to understand the, the lifetime. And once we have seen the lifetime in the femtosecond, then we had done the 2D coherent spectroscopy. If you put the those layer pulse of the lifetime and can again create the, uh, the the spectrum. So this is three way to understand the quasi particle presence that is very important in the future well electronics kind of the device. So finally, I want to thank very uh, thank you to all of you. You are patiently and lastly, I was to within a few seconds a, a last the the art I, I talk, talk about the how friend you can make the building block. This is what the mean of that. Now people thinking like that in the world, how we can mix the 1D, G, 2D, 0D, and 3D. What is beyond that? Beyond that means a single molecule, if you see particular angle, it will be 3D. Single molecule, particular angle, it will be 2D. Single molecule, if you see the 1D, like all the confinements that can be tailored in a single compound. If it will happen like that, there is no issue of the stability, no issue of the fast electronics, no issue of the the, the, uh, the, the discrete energy levels. So, so those kind of the building blocks are very essential. So we, that can be how it can be possible. You can use a, a host of the polymer and trying to use other building blocks. Like we had make like building blocks of the polymer with the 1D and we make a, a like polymer layer for the uh, uh, sensor device. And you can see here, we make a device and that device based on the, uh, first we understand all kind of the polymer like the polyurethane, PDMS and the other polymer and ultimately understand the strength, flexibility and quick response for the change in resistance. And ultimately we make a device and you can see this picture and lifetime you can able to demonstrate if you do the bending, it can be same time to track the signal. If you do the crawling, you can same time you can do the signal. Like you can see here, if you twist the finger with this device, so you can able to see the signal. Similarly, so why this kind of the, 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 the uh, research is important because we plan to, for the Parkinson kind of the patient, there is a requirement to continuous track this kind of the motion because they have the vibrations because of the disease. So ultimately, uh, we published this article in ACS of Interface recently, and that is the out of the box thinking what I'm uh, always believe in the students. And ultimately, uh, many uh, people visited our lab, and I hope all the youngsters you can come. We are more uh believe in the students in compared to the big guys so i am just to like say like that this is the validation for the my science that's why i'm showing this slide also so ultimately i thanks to uh, uh all kind of the the support from the different sites i i get last many years from the all kind of the scientific community and friends this is my thought and this is very important so i will definitely read set the example by your own don't talk always example of others set the goal of your own don't redefine goal of the others after seeing others. Achieve the goal and success which can inspire others. Don't get the success only for your own. Don't the contribution of your own. Do the contribution of the, your own country. 
don't talk always contribution of others of their country make the good culture of work in country don't talk always the culture of other country so this is one thought and another thought if you doing the science with the motivation with the hard work then friend you should be you should be like a make yourself as a iron not no one can destroy you even people will understand you and listen sound of your hard work which will make you iron if you make yourself as a cotton everybody will praise you enjoy the moment and will make your life hell so make yourself this is my message at iron not cotton thank you very much and thank ultimately so my students are listed you. here so yeah these guys are real wheels and i am just like an engine if these wheels are not running i cannot possible to this kind of success thank you very much thank you so much sir uh, as you rightly said even in the beginning of your session uh, accept the challenge stretch your limits explore yourself and convert it into an opportunity so uh, people which are working in the field of scientific research uh, the only key uh, to the success for them uh, i guess is uh, are their consistent efforts and i hope all our participants they are really motivated uh, by your session and uh, they will work hard uh, in uh, whatever uh, field they are working and they will work smart to convert their dreams into reality so your session was really so informative sir uh, it was covering so many interesting real life examples and applications uh, because we are running out of time and the session is already uh, dictated by uh, 15 minutes so i request all the participants that we will take your questions in the second session uh, dear participants dr gupta will be uh, with us for the post lunch session which is starting at 130 pm and link for joining that session uh, are, uh, has already been shared uh, so for now i uh, declare end of the session here and sir our participants are expressing their uh, heartiest gratitudes uh, thank you very much so i think uh, uh, we have to be uh, uh, the another session we will be definitely we should uh, keep a interaction because it's more important because uh, that conversion is uh, interaction is more important than the what i'm showing so so uh, so keep in the second session so it may be you are correct so because i have some work for the i will back to the lab so again okay. i will join the 130 so thank you very much to all so if you permission i can just to leave the platform now yeah sure sir i declare end of the session here thank you all of you for joining okay thank you very much to all